our uh, scripture from Isaiah 35, verses 1 through 10. And there's quite a list here, so just, just take note. Uh, pay attention to all the good things that was, uh, were prophesied that God wanted to give to the nation of Israel. The wilderness and the dry land shall be glad. The desert shall rejoice and blossom like the crocus. It shall blossom abundantly and rejoice with joy and singing at the glory of Lebanon. Shall be given to it the majesty of Carmel and Sharon. They shall see the glory of the Lord, the majesty of our God. Strengthen the weak hands and make firm the feeble knees. Say to those who are of a fearful heart, be strong, do not fear. Here is your God. He will come with vengeance, with terrible recompense. He will come and save you. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened and the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. Then the lame shall leap like a deer and the tongue of the speechless sing for joy. For water shall break forth in the wilderness and streams in the desert. The burning sand shall become a pool and the thirsty ground springs of water. The haunt of jackals shall become a swamp. The grass shall become reeds and rushes. A highway shall be there, and it shall be called the holy way. The unclean shall not travel on it, but it shall be for God's people. No traveler, not even fools, shall go astray. No lion shall be there, nor shall any ravenous beast come upon it. They shall not be found there, but the redeemed shall walk there. And the ransom of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with singing. Everlasting joy shall be upon their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness, and sorrow and sigh shall flee away. That is an impressive list. And yes, making a list for Santa Claus. A lot of us have done that growing up. If we lived in a small town, maybe our teacher had us write letters to Santa for the local newspaper. Maybe we just wrote a letter because mom and dad wanted to keep us busy on a quiet Sunday afternoon. But we have all made a list in our mind, if not on paper. We have all had a Christmas wish. Over the years, the wishes change. When we are little, we usually want a toy, something fun. When we grow a little older, we might want a bigger toy, something like our first car. We may not get everything on our list, but we keep making our lists. Again, when I was about 11, I had my heart set on a blue football jersey. For some reason, my parents chose not to get that for me. I was disappointed. That is one kind of blue Christmas. The scripture is a, or this scripture is a good opportunity to talk about another kind of blue Christmas. Some years are tough years. Christmas rolls around and we are not in the Christmas spirit. Sometimes we have suffered significant losses during the year. Sometimes we lose a loved one, a spouse, a parent, a grandparent. Sometimes we have three or four funerals close together in a year's time. Sometimes there is an illness in the family. There are doctor visits, doctor bills, difficult decisions. December rolls around and when Elvis comes on the radio singing at Blue Christmas, it sounds a lot more realistic than grandma got run over by a reindeer. Our wish list changes from dear God, please send me more stuff to dear God, don't let any more bad stuff happen. Dear God, please heal us, restore us, minister to this sadness that lingers with us. Dear God, this is my honest prayer. Please help me find my smile again. That can be the change in our prayers. When we look at Isaiah chapter 35, we find a list, a list of good things. We find a list that is a healing list. It is not a list of stuff to buy at the market. It is not a list of toys to amuse us. It is a list of healing gifts, renewing gifts. It starts out, it's going to rain again, right there. That's an awesome gift. And then we will see God's glory. God will strengthen the weak. God will defend the people, heal the people, the blind, the deaf, mute, the lame. And the wells will be full again. Did we mention there would be more rain? They mentioned that twice. God's holy way will be opened. So God's street is going to be in business. 
and then the ransomed will come home. The street will be ready and the ransom will find it and they will get to come home. And it says everlasting joy shall be upon them. No more sorrowing and sighing. Joy is number nine and no more sorrow and sighing, number 10. This gift list is full of, of really good things that would benefit any nation. But Israel has been through a world of hurt, suffering through years of occupation first by the Assyrians and then the Babylonians. This morning, we will look at just a couple items on the list. This gift list sounds like a Christmas list before Christmas was even created. So we start out looking at the promise of rain. It brings forth visions of green fields, flowing rivers, full lakes and ponds. We get a vision of abundant crops and orchards full of fresh fruit. Nebraskans can identify with going through uh, drought and wishing for relief. There's still some folks who remember the summer of 1936. That summer was the record breaker. On July 25th, 1936, the high for the day was 115 degrees. The low was only 91 degrees in the shade. It was so bad that the newspaper took a picture of citizens of Lincoln sleeping on the lawn of the state capitol. Hardly anybody had air conditioning. The authorities did not chase anybody off the lawn. It was so bad, they just let the people sleep. Again, we know what it is like to be short on rain. We know what it is like to struggle through a drought. We know how great it feels to have a drought broken. A good soaking rain that does not wash away the crops and the houses is a terrific gift. Then we look at the last item on the gift list. No more sorrowing and sighing. No more anger, anguish. No more worry. It takes us from making the ah uh, sound to the ah uh, sound. Again, ah uh, or ah. Uh. When the rain returns, when the good times return, we feel restored. It chases the blues away. Then comes the grand finale. The list tells us that joy will replace the sorrowing and sighing. Isaiah says, everlasting joy shall be upon their heads. This is the big Christmas hint on the list. Everlasting joy points to the everlasting gift of eternal life. Joy foreshadows the angels singing, behold, we bring you good news of great joy. Isaiah is talking about the joy that will send the blues away. Amen.